Hi everyone. This is Alex from Doc365. I'm going to show you how to enable versioning for a SharePoint library in this video. Before getting into the tutorial, let me tell you a few words about the benefits of versioning. Versioning helps you to track the changes made to a document from the time you are enabling the versioning settings. If needed, you can revert to a previous version too. Let's see how to do this. This is uh, my SharePoint start page. I'm going to make the changes today uh, in one of my SharePoint sites called marketing updates. So let's enable versioning to uh, the document library of this particular site. For that, uh, we need to go to the document library first. So I'm clicking on the document library option in the navigation here on the left side. So this is uh, my document library for this site. I'm clicking on the settings icon at the top and choose library settings. From the settings page, you need to find versioning settings under general settings section. So I'm clicking on versioning settings. Here you will see uh, different options like content approval, document version history, draft item security require uh, checkout. So I'm going to create or enable the versioning settings for this uh, document library. So here in the document version history option, uh, you get two options to enable. First is the create major versions and second is create major and minor versions. So I think uh, I will go with the first option, which is uh, most simple. And you can set up the number of major versions you would like to save here. I'm going to choose 100 here to keep uh, the number of uh, major versions. I would choose 100 because my organization is prompting me to uh, choose between 100 to 500 versions. And after making the changes, you can click on OK. So the options will be saved and then you can go back to your um, site or document library and see uh, whether it's working so let me get back to my document library here and let's make some changes to some of the documents and see uh, if the versioning is working To check uh, different versions available for a document or if you want if you wish to see whether the versioning settings you have made is working you can uh, choose any of the document and click on the ellipses and choose uh, version history so it will take you to the number of versions available for it and it gives you all the details about that so there are two versions available for this particular um, document uh, one is created by, uh, both of them are created by me. I think the first version is available from uh, 2020 December and second one is uh, of today. That is October 8th. So these are the options. By clicking on the uh, date, you can actually get to uh, take two actions. One is to view the document and second is to restore to that particular document. So if you wish to, if you made anything wrong with the latest update, you can always go to the previous version and click on restore. You will also get to uh, delete any of the previous versions if you think that is no more uh, relevant. So these are the options you get to manage your version histories. Hope you got a clear picture about how to enable versioning for your document libraries in SharePoint. And uh, please try these features and uh, let us know how it went. And if you have any queries, please comment in the comment section below. Uh, see you with another interesting tutorial video soon. Have a good day.